A Columbia University senior will carry a mattress wherever she goes every day until the man she says raped her leaves campus. I was raped in my own dorm bed. A mattress is the perfect size for me to just be able to carry it enough that I can continue with my day but also heavy enough that I have to continually struggle with it. This is part of her senior thesis, a performance art piece called Carry That Weight. Emma Sulkowitz says she was raped by a classmate on the first day of her sophomore year and that her case was improperly handled by the university. In May, she told Time her complaints about her school, saying employees working on her case weren't trained. I don't actually get to write a statement of what happened. It's all the investigator's statement that they read. Since her statement didn't make any sense, my case didn't make any sense. Columbia didn't comment for the story, but we should note that according to Time, the university now requires two people to be present when alleged victims share their stories. Sulkowitz is also one of 23 students from Columbia and neighboring Barnard College who have filed a federal complaint alleging the university hasn't properly addressed sexual assault cases on campus. The issue of sexual assault on college campuses has come to the forefront in 2014. A new task force from the White House in January, a Time cover story in May, and California's controversial Yes Means Yes bill passed just last week. Al Jazeera also wrote in May of what happened when Sulkowitz reported her assault to police. According to Al Jazeera, an officer told Sulkowitz's friend, who had gone with her to the station, Questioning is supposed to be uncomfortable. If it goes to trial, this is what's going to happen. You think that was bad? Nah. It's my type of job to get the truth. If that means being harsh about it, that's what I do. But in what critics call rape culture on college campuses, there's also the perspective of the accused. This week, NPR published a piece exploring the stories of students who say they were automatically presumed guilty. One man says he was accused as a sophomore and called a board at the University of Massachusetts, quote, hostile and poorly trained. Complaints not too far off from Sulkowitz's. That panel expelled him. He's now suing. Sulkowitz's school, Columbia, is also being sued by students who were accused of assault and say their cases were mishandled. In April, the White House Task Force released its first recommendations on how campuses should handle sexual assaults. It promised a training program for campus officials would be developed by this month. Thanks for watching. For Newsy, I'm Lauren Zima.